Okay, so my main role in Syngenta is to generate data for trials. So before a product comes onto the market, we do local trials. And also with this product, I've mixed them with um, countries, different countries. So you will see that the results are consistent from the trials that we've done locally and from other countries as well. Okay, so from this one, from this slide, this experiment was done just to show you the range of uh, soilborne diseases that it can do. So with this untreated, if you see the letters that are here, this one is showing you just how many pathogens are present. And when you look at this one, you can see that here, there's probably just one letter there, which means that fludioxanil, which is one of the actives in apron plus beans, is able to control all these pathogens. This is the untreated, so it's showing you that this is the incidence of disease. So in the untreated, you have up to 25% of formopsis. Then when you look at this green one, fusarium, in the untreated, it's less than the untreated. Sorry, in the fludioxonil, which was the treatment, it's less than in the untreated. Then when you go to the cercospora, here you have zero. As compared to the untreated, it went to almost 15% meaning that here there was a 100% control. Then when you look at this one, which is asper aspergillus, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> yes. So here in the untreated, the incidence went above 10%, and in this fludioxonil, it was almost 2%. So when you have pathogens here, already you're going to lose out on yield because the germination will be low. All these pathogens are going to affect germination. So in the end, you're already, you're already going to lose out on yield. Okay, so these are local results. So this is just to show you that locally, we also generate results. So this plot is untreated. In this plot, we did not treat the seed. This is untreated seed. And with this plot, it was treated with apron plus beans. I must uh, note that with these ones, it's the same seed rate that was used. So the parameters we were looking at here was plant count. This was just to show that untreated control will be affected. The germination will be lower than the treated seed. I'm sure you can see from these lines that the plant that germinated here was higher than in the untreated. So from this graph, it's showing you that there's a plant increment of 40% just by adding apron plus beans. Okay, another parameter we're looking at is vigor. So these were planted on the same day, given the same conditions, which is fertilizer, water. But if you look at these plots, you can tell that the vigor is less. And actually, even here, you can tell that the plant count has been affected. This plot was treated with apron plus beans. So you can see the vigor in this plot. So from this graph, it's showing you that there's a 20% increment in vigor. Actually, in some plots, it was even higher. As you can see here, it's actually higher than 20%. Okay, so another parameter is root development. We all know if the roots are properly established, they're going to be able to take up nutrients from the soil. So with this one, the root biomass was higher than the untreated. I'm sure you can see from these roots. And actually, even these roots, if you see this ruler that we've put here, these roots were longer than in the untreated. We also took uh, plant height. So with plant height in the untreated, plant height went up to about 62 centimeters. And with this apron plus beans, the plant height was almost 70%. Oh, sorry, 70 centimeters, which just shows you that in the untreated, there was a delay in the germination and even the vigor was not higher. So it's affected in the plant height and also in the root biomass. Okay, so like I said, we're mixing these results with South African results. So these are from South Africa, but what we'll notice is that the results are consistent, meaning this product will work whichever country you use it. So these results are from South Africa. Already this is exactly what we're seeing with the Zambian trials. Here is the untreated. So already you can see the root establishment on the control. This one is lower. Here the root biomass, you have more root hairs here. 
in the plot that was treated with apron plus beans. Then also, if you, if you just look at these plants, this also shows the height, which I was talking about in the previous trials. And the one with apron plus beans, they have higher vigor and also the height is better than the untreated. So also this is just showing you the healthier root system. This is the untreated and that's the treated plot. These pictures in the corner, these are from the same Zambian trial. So this is the untreated. And if you look at the treated, the root biomass, these were taken 56 days after planting. So the root biomass on the apron plus beans was better than treated. Okay, so this is another one which is just showing you the same root biomass. These ones are from Zambia and this is a South African trial. So it's interesting to see that in the field, if you see this red line demarcating these, these were planted also on the same day, but this side, this is the untreated control. So already you can see how scanty this field is on the left. This is the untreated plot and on the other side, you can see the plot that was treated with apron plus beans. The vigor, the plant count, this is a better field. Okay. So when yield was done, so these ones were taken from four plants. So four plants from the untreated control and four plants from the treated plots. But you can see that the one that was treated with apron plus beans has more pods, which will generate into a higher yield. So there's a more pod count here than the untreated control. So on average, there was a 2.8 ton per hectare in the treated plots as compared to 2.4 tons per hectare. So he'll come and give the return on investment 